diagnosis rates and pressure on staff. These are all common concerns when it comes to the NHS. So could artificial intelligence be the way to improve our healthcare system? This week on Saturday, we're focusing on AI and its role in the NHS. Starting this evening with an AI system that detects inflammation in the heart that would otherwise be invisible to the human eye. The technology developed in collaboration with Oxford University can identify people who are likely to suffer heart attacks up to 10 years in the future, as Catherine de Costa reports. 58-year-old Ian Pickard's tried to be more active, quit smoking and has started taking statins. It's after he took part in a trial using artificial intelligence to analyse cardiac CT scans. Tess highlighted that he was at risk of having a heart attack. It's a huge wake-up call and when you see it on paper, you realise how serious it is. It's something you can look at each day and think, I've got to do something about this. I'm just going to do a blood pressure on you, John, just to okay. see what your heart rate's doing. Around 350,000 people are referred for a CT scan of their heart each year in the UK. About 20% are sent for further tests for narrow or blocked arteries, while the remaining 80% are discharged. But researchers at the University of Oxford have found AI can accurately identify patients with inflammation around their heart, which is invisible on CT scans. This artificial intelligence model brings to the surface this hidden information and identifies the patients who are going to develop a heart attack over the next 10 years, and it gives an alarm bell as to this patient needs to be aggressively medicated or needs to lose weight or needs to go through significant lifestyle changes because they are at very high risk to develop a heart attack. Cardiovascular disease remains one of the biggest killers in the UK and a major health burden globally. Professor Keith Channon says the technology is a game changer for identifying those at risk and getting them the best treatment as early as possible. It opens up a whole new understanding of coronary artery disease risk, something that's been previously invisible, that couldn't be done by humans, and that wasn't visible to the human eye. So this is a very exciting aspect of AI and new scientific discovery that's been translated into patient benefit that changes the way we understand disease, it changes the way we identify people at most risk, and it changes the way that we can use our treatments most effectively. The company behind the technology verifies the AI results to make sure they're clinically accurate. They hope to have nice approval by the end of the year. And they're already looking to use a similar approach to prevent other major health conditions. We're also looking at an adjacent technology, which is stroke, which will cause long-term, not just uh, you know, mobility, but also large uh, you know, economic burden, both in the United Kingdom as well as around the world as well. Furthermore, we're also using this technology principle to apply to the prediction of diabetes onset as well. More than 40,000 patients have been part of the pilot project running at five hospital trusts in England. But if approved for use on the NHS, thousands more could benefit from this revolutionary new advance in cardiac care. Catherine de Costa, BBC South Today.